and the water chancellor. Then go and check again. There must be some sort of letter from her by now. I don't care when the last time you checked was. Go, check again. <sighs> Probably should give that man a raise. It's only been a little bit. Why am I like this? It's quite amusing, so please continue. Lady Eleanor, I won't even bother to pretend to be glad to see you. Your Chancellor let me in. I do hope that's okay. What could you possibly want? Was it not enough for you to embarrass me the last time you were here? I warn you, I will not take your jabs in good humor today. <laughs> wow, you really are pouting, aren't you? How long has it been since she left? Like, two days? Five and a half. Oh, excuse me. Well, hurry up and state your business. I'd rather you not linger. Sebastian, I've been hearing odd rumours recently. Rumours? You ruined my peace over rumours? I thought you were more sensible than that. It is one thing to hear something once, but multiple times? From multiple people? That's not a coincidence, and you know it. Fine. What rumour did you hear? I don't want you to become upset when I ask you this. Oh, we're off to a great start already. Are you certain that... that you killed Rodrigo? Que? Are you certain? Certain? Ay, Dios mío, I ran him through with my sword. He died in my arms. How much more certain could I be? Where is he buried? In an unmarked grave off by the palace grounds. Did you see him buried? Okay. He's dead, Eleanor. Están muerto, Eleanor. Did you see him? No. It was chaos after. You know that. I... I left it to the honor guard. But he's dead. That I know for certain. I felt his heart stop. Whatever rumor you're hearing, it cannot be about mi hermano. Even if he could have been saved by someone? Someone with powerful connections, perhaps? What are you suggesting? Brujaria? Dark magic? Such things have long since died out. You know that. Witches and wizards are long gone from this realm. Gone? Maybe. Hiding? Most definitely. All right. Let us assume, para un momento, that I believe this ridiculous rumor. Why would someone go through the trouble to steal Rodrigo's body and then bring him back to life? Even if they were able to do the spell correctly, it would take years for him to regain his full strength. It's been years, and I... I believe he's still alive. Están muerto, Eleanor. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's not my safety I'm worried about. Just check the grave. If I'm wrong, you can go ahead and gloat for the rest of my days. If I'm right... You won't be. Guards, fetch two horses. Can you ride, Eleanor? <laughs> we both know I'm the better rider. The real question is, can you keep up? <laughs> then let us prove you wrong, shall we? Scott. 
talking about, are you, child? I see your nosiness hasn't changed. Oh, please, don't stop on my account. I'd love to hear the reason why you're in my private study going through my desk. Relax, would you not, Captain? My daughter has always been like this. No doubt since she tricked you into thinking she was allowed in here. Now, hand over what you have in your hand. Don't make me ask twice. Your brother is a traitor, and you would be killed if he ever stepped foot in this kingdom. You know this. Don't tell me that my beloved daughter would betray me too. Ah, well, you must cut him off. He is no longer deserving of your affections. Consider your brother dead. I do. And if you don't wish to follow in his footsteps, you will remember your place here. Night Captain, I am getting annoyed with you. You constantly keep sticking yourself in places where you don't belong. Fine. Let's drop the facade, shall we? I know why you're here. You think I'm blind or stupid? You want to take me off throne? You think I'll allow you to do that? No, child. You listen. You are in my court. You've let your head grow too big since you were crowned queen. I thought the tyrant would break you, but it seems it falls to me again. I warned you not to draw your sword against me, Night Captain. A threat? No, never. More like a promise. Oh, relax. He's fine. Just going to take a little nap. War? Ah, that's fine. Let your husband come over here and try to force me out. That's what I want. You two haven't met yet, have you? This is your brother-in-law, the true king, Rodrigo. He was very much so, <laughs> but thanks to my intervention, he lives. He only wants one thing, the death of your husband. In exchange, I will get the kingdom on a silver plate. Oh, poor girl. You must be in shock. Well, Rodrigo, why don't you take your sister to her new accommodations? I will get the night captain out of there along with the rest of the guards that were sent. I suggest you don't struggle, girl. Your brother-in-law isn't the most patient person. He tends to attack first and think later. <laughs> Take her away.
open the casket. Empty. Mierda. Damn it. We don't have time for this. Where is he? Do you know where? No. I only heard the vague rumours, but... It seems convenient, don't you think? The attacks on the Queen, which you traced back to her father? He's clever. Why would he allow himself to be caught so easily? He could have killed the maid after she did her job. Or planted a spy. What's a trap? For fuck's sake! How did I not see it? It's not your fault. My wife is there right now. I need to... You cannot rush over there. You'll be giving them exactly what they want. I will end them. I have the numbers. I have the strength. And they are counting on you just rushing straight there without any thought. What do you suggest then? Just say, oh well, so much for that queen, better find another? If you would just get your head out of your ass and listen to me, I would tell you. Speak. Quickly, now. Rodrigo will want you dead. He won't care what he has to do to get it. He doesn't care about this kingdom. Malcolm does. If Rodrigo kills you, he can sweep in as ruler. Your marriage to the Queen would give him a legitimate reason to do so. This damn crumb. We need an ace up our sleeves. Her brother? The exiled prince, if we could find him. We could put him on the throne instead, and get rid of Malcolm and Rodrigo in one swoop. We would have to find him first. Leave that to me. I have connections. Connections? <laughs> yes, Sebastian. I do have a life outside of torturing you. Shocking, I know. <laughs> Fine. Very well. But be swift. I don't know how much time we have until Malcolm makes his move. Guard, go with Lady Eleanor to the Chancellor. Tell him that she has my permission to do whatever she needs to do. Is that clear? Bueno. Go. Be quick. What about you? I'll be there in a moment. It's going to be okay, Sebastian. Go. You have more important things to do than to comfort me. Fuck! How the hell is this happening? Rodrigo. I can't. Damn it all! Mierda! <laughs> well, look at this. I can see why my brother likes you so much. He always did fancy girls with eyes like yours. But the rest of you... <laughs> it is average, if I am to be honest. Don't you worry about the night captain. He is on his way back now. Whether he survives the trip or not, on the other hand, well, you should just focus on yourself. Oh, I am sure you would try. But you are in that cell, and I am not. Just be glad I haven't lost my temper with you. Unlike my brother, I tend to be a bit more violent with my outbursts. Tell me, have you ever seen someone die before? Watch the life drain out of their eyes. It is an amazing feeling. To hold someone else's fate in your hands. To release them from the suffering of this world. I don't give a damn about the crown or that country. All I want is to take my brother down with me. Well, Sebastian is a bastard for one thing. He never should have become king in the first place. 
I was saving the country. I was purging it of anyone who would have done it harm. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelette, as the saying goes. Really? How naive are you? You little... Ah, 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 ah. Temper, temper. You almost got me. You wanted me to open this cell, didn't you? <laughs> I am not a stupid. I won't fall for that. Don't worry. I have no interest in my brother's sloppy seconds. In fact, I could care less about you. Really. Your father is an hijo puta, for sure. But your mistake was marrying my brother. That is why you are going to have to die. I will make your death quick. Don't you worry. I just have to make a show of it for your husband. After all, what would be better than watching his lover die right before his eyes? <laughs> oh, sure. And I wasn't brought back from the dead. I know he cares for you. Do you think we don't get the news here? When the poisoning happened, we heard all about it. About how upset and furious he was. How he stayed by your bedside. You are so very important to him. And that is why you are going to die. Go ahead. Break out. Hell, hunting you down would make things fun for me. But it wouldn't change anything. You are going to die here, young lady. It is going to hurt. And you are going to break his little heart. <laughs> Good thing he will be right behind you. Perhaps you will meet again in another life. How very romantic. <laughs> Face it, lady. You have been outplayed. This is my show now, and you are going to play your part. Do you understand? Hello, everyone. Thank you for enjoying this audio. It's been over a year since it released on my channel, or I should say, on Patreon. So, as you can tell, I've been slowly going through the series. I want to give a huge shout-out to Critter Jitter, and also to Escaped Audios for providing voices. Uh, the original track did not actually include Escaped. Um, I recently updated it on Patreon, and the one you're hearing here is the definitive version, with Escaped Audios. I also want to give a huge shout out to Lupin Stole My Heart, who wrote this a while ago, and it's really good stuff. It took a while for me to get around to editing everything and putting it together, but here we are. I'm really happy with how it came out. Now, obviously, we've only got about three or four months worth of audio left, um, give or take a few side stories and whatnot. But, really hoping that this series... Uh, continues at some point and that you guys get to enjoy it. If you want to hear the audios early, you can always check out my Patreon where you can find all the episodes that I've done so far, which is up to episode 10, uh, with 11 and 12 on the way very soonish. But in the meantime, I want to thank you all again for your, you know, for liking, sharing, commenting, favorite, subscribing, and doing all that stuff. And uh, to my patrons, thank you so much for your patience. I know this series has taken a long time to get to y'all, but I want it done correctly. So I will see you all in the next audio. Sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.